The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Who are we, Lord God, that you should come to us? Yet you have visited your people and redeemed us in your Son. As we prepare to celebrate his birth, make our hearts leap for joy at the sound of your word, and move us by your Spirit to bless your wonderful works. We ask this through him whose coming is certain, whose day draw near, your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, merciful and gentle. To you be praise and glory forever. Your light has shone in our darkened world through the childbearing of Blessed Mary. Grant that we who have seen your glory may daily be renewed in your image and prepared like her for the coming of your Son who is the Lord and Savior of all. Bless yes, God, God forever. God our Father, the angel Gabriel told the Virgin Mary that she was to be the mother of your son. Though Mary was afraid, she responded to your call with joy. Help us, whom you call to serve you, to share like her in your great work of bringing to our world your love and healing. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, Amen. light Amen. of the world, blessed is the Savior who brought the news. Blessed is the your mother and ours. Bless your church. Preparing for Christmas, and bless us, your children, who long for your coming. Amen. People of God, prepare. God above all, maker of all, is one with us in Christ. Maranatha. Come, Lord Jesus. God, the mighty God, bends down in love to earth. Maranatha. Come, Lord Jesus. God with us, God beside us, comes soon to the world he has made. Maranatha. Come, Lord Jesus. We are God's children. We seek the coming Christ. Maranatha. Come, Lord Jesus.
Blessed good morning to each and every one of you. The warm welcome to our acts of worship here today. Special welcome as always to our online congregation worshiping with us via our Facebook page. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent, so the collects and readings are for the same. Jesus says, Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed, blessed be his kingdom, 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 now, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and to worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ. Have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Purify our conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, at his coming, may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the ministry of the Word. A reading from the Word of God, written in the book of Michael, Chapter 5, beginning at the seventh verse. You, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth then the rest of the kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the Word of God. We're in the letter of Hebrews, chapter 10, beginning at the fifth verse. When Jesus came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, for the body you have prepared for me, and burnt offerings and sin offerings you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, See, God, I have come to you, I have come to do your will, O Lord. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. When he said about, You have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings. These are offered according to the law. Then he added, See, I have come to do your will. He abolishes the first in order to establish the second. And it is by God's will that we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Amen. of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me? 
that the mother of my Lord comes to me. For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise Christ, our Lord. of our hearts. Be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our relief. Amen. Please be seated. As I, as I said last year, I once heard from an old priest that the sermon on the fourth Sunday of Advent should be short. <laughs> I guess he thought that those who were able to, to come out to church on the last weekend before Christmas needed to be allowed to get back home in a decent time so they could finish everything they had to do. Probably he knew from personal experience that when he got home, he still had to finish the chores his wife gave him to do. So maybe a short sermon was in his best interest as well. In a sense, I can appreciate the reality of this. But while I, I will try to follow the priest's um, advice on brevity, I cannot make any promises. <laughs> now I say I cannot make any, any promises because this gospel reading is, is for me excited and deep. The examples of faith and trust in God that we see in it are so glaring, so in your face, so thought provoking, that it is hard not to see them and think about them. It is certainly hard not to see how the wonderful and powerful examples, these two women in this story, how wonderful and powerful their example is for us to follow. First we have Elizabeth, an old woman who for many years was unable to bear a child. And so you can imagine that in the society in which she lived, her life would not have been easy. Because in that society, the value of a woman was seen in her ability to have children, preferably male children. But here we have God coming to her in her old age for her to bear a son. And as unlikely as it would seem, she trusted God, even as her husband was in disbelief. Then we have Mary. We know her story well. A young girl who accepted God's blessing and was willing to trust his promises. Trusting in God for her could not have been easy either, especially knowing how her society would view her for being pregnant before she was married, and even how her relationship with Joseph could have been affected. Imagine what could have been going through her mind, all the negatives, all the fears that she had. But yet, she trusted God. These two women accepted God's blessing upon them and then bore them into the world despite their unlikeliness to play such important roles. Their acceptance amidst 
the challenges of their day and of their lives is definitely a challenge for us in our day, in our lives. Certainly we cannot physically birth Jesus like Mary did. But we can carry him with us into the world. When we believe and accept God's blessings and purpose for us, and then go into the world bearing, sharing, and living our beliefs, then we are being like Mary and bearing fruit, bearing the fruit placed within us by Almighty God. My friends, each of us has a responsibility which calls us to Christian action. We are to be a people who hear and accept God's word and blessings and then bear the fruit of them into the world every single day. The problem that the world faces is that too often we do not bear fruit. We do not bring forth the goodness that is placed within us. Too often, instead of accepting God's presence in our lives and the responsibility to take his love into the world, we decide not to trust God and instead to turn away from him. Today, we bring in our Advent shopping bags which will be given to the poor and the less fortunate. These contributions remind us not only that there are many living without basic necessities in our society and our world, but they also remind us of the hope that can enter people's lives when God's people reach out. When we accept God's love and purpose for us, then with what little we have, we can bear fruit in the lives of others and allow hope to enter their reality. By trusting God and allowing Him to use us, His love and presence becomes real in the life of someone else. At the end of the day, it is not about how many bags you can contribute towards this or any other initiative. You may not have been able to contribute a bag at all because of your circumstances, but it is about accepting God's call upon our lives. It is about accepting God's call upon your life to bear the fruit of the love that he places within us, that he placed within you, and to bear it in whatever way you can. We must see the responsibility given to us to bear Christ's presence into the world through our acts of love and kindness, acts rooted in our faith and our trust in him. With all that we see going on around us, it may seem overwhelming. We may wonder how we can make a difference when so many are struggling. But as our hearts go out to all those who are suffering, we are being asked to help the one or two that passes our way. Trusting that someone else will bear Christ's presence where they are and help the persons who pass their way as well. Mary and Elizabeth could not save the world themselves, but they played their part. It is for us to play our part 
and to have faith and a trust in God. Faith and trust that he will do the rest. You see, if everyone does their small part, it all adds up. And the difference that seemed so impossible to make from the point of view of one person acting alone becomes possible and real from the point of view of all of us doing our small part. I pray that as we seek to live in this world, we would be encouraged and strengthened by the faith and the action of Elizabeth and Mary. I pray that our faith allows us to be open to allowing God's love to abide within us and to grow within us so that we can bear his love into the world. It is as we bear his love into the world, one act of kindness and compassion after another, that truly, truly, the lives of others and even our own lives will be transformed. Through the humbling of ourselves and through our faithful obedience and action, both we who bear Christ's love in the world and those who receive it can, like Mary, proclaim the greatness of God, knowing in our hearts that just as we have been blessed, we have been called to bear fruit, bear the fruit of Christ's love into the world and bless others. Amen. Amen. Invite us now, both here and online, to join hearts and voices as we reaffirm our faith, saying in the words of the Nicene Creed, we believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. For all that is seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father,
and the seer at the right hand of the Father. We look for our day and the glory to judge the living and the dead. And the spirit of God, Lord, and the Lord. We believe we are the most great. The Lord, the giver of the life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped from glory to glory. We are spoken into the darkness. We believe in the one who will be back to the night of our son of the church. We are not married to one baptism for the forgiveness of our sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord to come. Amen. I will sit on you as we pray. Let us pray to the Lord, rejoicing that he is here among us. Make the church, confident in the sacrifice of Christ, always ready to proclaim his coming. Keep your people faithful to the revelation that they have received, that they may be blessed in believing and ready to receive your promises. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Establish your justice in the world. In this winter time, give to the nation the light of Christ, that they may rejoice in his birth. Let your will be known and followed by all people. Lord, in your mercy. Bless us in our families with mutual love and service to meet each other's needs. Make us holy in our lives together as we wait for the Holy Birth. Lord, in your mercy, fill the hungry and raise up the oppressed. Affirm the minorities that are despised because they are small and weak in the eyes of the world, and grant them their rightful place. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who through bodily death have known the coming of the Lord. May they be held in eternal life through his offering of himself. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May we, may we be filled with the Holy Spirit to make known the wonderful coming of Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, as we continue in this time of prayer, I ask your prayers for our own sister Maureen Robinson as she mourns the passing of her father. We ask your prayers as well for our sister Elaine Fox. She mourns the passing of her brother in law. I ask you to lift them and their families up. Praying God's comfort and strength upon them as they journey through this very difficult time. O oh, merciful Father, taught us in your holy word that you would not willingly afflict us. Look with compassion 
and the bereavement of those for whom our prayers are offered, especially this day, Sister Maureen, Sister Elena. Remember them, O Lord. In mercy, nourish their souls with patience. Comfort them with the sense of your goodness. Lift up your countenance upon them and give them peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And for the departed, we pray. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light's perpetual shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest. part of the burial office. We are reminded that in the midst of life, we are in death. So I encourage us to cherish the gift of life each and every day. And I ask us to join with those today who are celebrating this gift of life as they celebrate birthdays, wedding anniversaries, or any other type of anniversary. And if you are present this morning and you are celebrating, or you celebrated previously and you were not with us, I invite you to come forward as we uplift you in prayer. <laughs> over your children, O Lord, as their days increase. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when they are discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall. And in their hearts may the peace of God which passes all understanding abide with them all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. The Act of Penance. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us therefore confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. 
We have not to love to the part of both parts. We have not to love our neighbors as ourselves. We have not to love ourselves as we ought. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one Spirit, we are all baptized into one body, and have all been made to drink of the one Spirit. Let us then pursue the things that we make for peace, and build up that common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. service of the nine lessons and carols last Sunday evening. We were truly blessed. It was a beautiful program. Thank you to Brother Denver and the choir. Thank you to our soloists and our duoists. Is that correct? The persons who did the duo. We had a lively duo with percussion. Thanks for that. And thanks to Sister Fran and the instrumentalists, the Sunday School Choir, and all our lectors. Thank you all for your valuable contribution. And special thanks to our multimedia team for putting everything together and running a smoothly executed program. Thank you. Blue Christmas service is this evening at 6 p.m. So for all those persons who may be dealing with a loss of any kind and grief during the season of Christmas, you're welcome to attend. Strictly Strings Christmas, the Cayman Arts Festival presents Strictly Strings Christmas, a lunchtime recital featuring Dequan Smith, Sarah Newman, Fran McConaughey, Harriet Kennedy, Yoan Tamayo, and the CAF Intermediate Ensemble. That will be taking place this Tuesday, the 21st of December, between 12 noon to 1 p.m. right here at St. George's Anglican Church. Tickets are $10 and they'll be available at the door. If you need more information, feel free to call 922-5550 or email inquiries at caymanartsfestival.com. There will be no midweek mass for the rest of December. We will resume in the new year. Sunday school is online today. Please
please do join us uh, at the beginning at 11 a.m. Check out the uh, WhatsApp chat groups for the Zoom details as well as your email address. And collect their Christine Ah, Christine Gilbert. Ah, immediately after church. Please do collect your items for making the Christingles. Those can be collected in the garden. Be sure to pick yours up. So uh, Tuesday is D-Day for the annual reports that are due for all groups. Please do send them by email to the church office at stgeorgecaymanislands at gmail.com. And please take note of the schedule of Christmas services for uh, the rest of the year. Um, special Christmas envelopes for your Christmas offering may be collected at the usher's desk. We look forward to seeing you. There's a service for everyone. Um, and unless there are any other notices, have a wonderful week. And for those who are coming out later, see you later. Thank you. Blessing of the contribution made towards Maple House. Let us pray. God most gracious, we join our hearts in raising a prayer of thanksgiving to you for the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. As we approach the celebration of the birth of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, 
We are mindful that many in our communities are suffering and are doing without. And so from what you have blessed us with, we make this offering, <clears throat> seeking your blessings upon that which is given, and pray that not only will those without be provided for in some way through this offering, but that they will know and feel your love, your love being channeled through us. May we also, as we make this journey of life, Always be mindful and responsive to the needs of others. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, we offer you these gifts which you have given us. This bread, this wine, this money. With them we love for ourselves, our lives, and our work. To become through your Holy Spirit a reasonable, holy, and lively sacrifice, as this bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ, so may we and all of your people become channels of your love to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and grace. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father Almighty, everlasting God. Because you sent your beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death, and to make us heirs in him of eternal life, that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world, we may, without shame or fear, rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore we praise you, join in our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, God, our 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 God, Prayer <clears throat> Sovereign Lord and Father, to you be glory and praise forever. In your boundless wisdom, you brought creation into being. In your great love, you fashioned us in your image. In your tender compassion, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, to share our human nature. In the power of the Holy Spirit, he overcame the power of sin and death and brought your people to new birth as first fruits of your new creation. On the night that he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, Father, according to the command of your dearly beloved Son, he remembers that we proclaim his resurrection. We have been his coming, O Lord. And we offer you, Father, our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Send your Holy Spirit on these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, Jesus, our Lord and Redeemer. 
as we partake of this holy food of new and unending life. May your Holy Spirit establish us as a royal priesthood with the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. George, and all your sons and daughters who share in your eternal inheritance through Jesus Christ, our Lord. <clears throat> with him, and in him, and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, in songs of everlasting praise. Bless you. As our Savior has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of fire and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one of them, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. The gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks. Our souls will be sadly satisfied, and we will sing glad songs of praise to Him.
join me with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Send us now into the world of peace and grant us strength and courage to love and to serve you and all persons in you with gladness and singleness of heart through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you and scatter the darkness from before your path. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and forevermore. <laughs> Let us now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Bless and enjoyable day to everyone. And I see you all Christmas Day or this evening. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.